And then uh, what, what about the, the fungibility argument that you heard a lot with the money from South Korea for the hostages? Um, why is that, why is that uh, argument wrong? So uh, I will say we have heard this a lot. I've addressed it a lot. So with respect to the Iranian regime, it has always funded destabilizing activities. It has done that first and foremost. It's one of its top priorities. It does that whether it receives, whether its people receive humanitarian benefits or not. Uh, to the extent that the Iranian people have greater access to food or medicine as a result of money covered by this waiver, that's food or medicine that otherwise would not have been available to them. And I would say, again, this is a policy that goes back to the previous administration. The previous administration apparently decided that it was worthwhile to have this money uh, uh, spent for the benefit of the Iranian people, with whom we have no quarrel. Our quarrels with the Iranian regime, it's destabilizing activities. Uh, and so our, what we see is an Iranian regime that whether these waivers are issued or not, whether their people benefit from these monies or not, continues to fund hostile activities. That has not changed. Uh, it's not changed going back years.